my name is Jamal Mosle. I'm the CEO of Elisera Therapeutics, which is a uh, Swedish uh, cell and gene therapy company, uh, clinical stage, uh, developing uh, next generation armed cancer treatments based on oncolytic viruses and CAR T cell therapies. You see a picture here of uh, two of the co-founders, Professor Magnus Sand and his uh, research colleague, uh, DU, uh, from Uppsala University. They have, uh, together with their research team, developed a broad portfolio for Elisera, today containing five assets in total, uh, two CAR T-cell therapies, two oncolytic viruses, and one technology platform we call iTank, which can be used to arm CAR T-cell therapies in order to make them uh, meet the two major challenges that these types of therapies face in the treatment of solid tumors. So I will be talking more about the iTank platform during this presentation. You see our pipeline here. You see that we have different programs under different development stages. The most advanced program is ELC100 at the bottom here in this slide. It's an oncolytic virus that we have specifically developed for treatment of nevroendocrine tumors. We have an ongoing dose escalation trial, and we're just about to complete that trial. We have uh, one patient left to treat out of a planned uh, 12 in total. Uh, our upcoming clinical trial uh, with a CAR T cell therapy is with the uh, ELC301 in uh, B cell lymphoma. This is a CD20 directed CAR T cell therapy armed with the iTank platform. I should mention that ELC100 is the only program that is not armed with the iTank platform, the other ones are. So we have all the approvals in place, we have uh, financing in place also, so patient recruitment is uh, currently ongoing. Uh, ELC401 is our CAR-T candidate we have developed for treatment of solid tumors. And initially we will target uh, glioblastoma. And 201 is what we call the next generation oncolytic virus. So in contrast to ELC100, ELC201 can be used to treat any solid tumor. And we've armed it with the iTank platform and an additional immune stimulating factor in 41 BBL. So talking about CAR T-cell therapies, uh, this is uh, an area within immune oncology, which of course we can use many different types of ways to activate the patient's immune system to fight cancer. And CAR T-cell therapies have uh, perhaps been considered one of the most, if not the most promising way to use the patient's immune system to fight cancer. And the reason is that uh, long-term studies have shown that CAR T-cell therapies actually have a potential to cure cancer. However, uh, this potential has only been proven in blood cancer. So today we have six approved CAR T cell therapies, all within the area of hematology. Uh, none have yet been approved for treatment of solid tumors, which of course is a much bigger market and with a much higher unmet medical need. And this is the area that we want to target with the ITEM platform and our CAR T candidates. You also see from this slide that most of the programs globally under development are in quite early uh, development phase. Uh, not that many, relatively few are in phase two and onwards. So from our perspective, this is good because we want to offer the ITEM platform to other CAR-T developers. And the earlier we can do that in their development cycle, uh, the better. Now, the two main challenges that CAR T th uh, cell therapies face in treatment of solid tumors that they don't face in treatment of blood cancer is, uh, number one, you have a very heterogeneous antigen expression in a solid tumor, meaning that it's difficult to find a CAR target antigen that is overexpressed on all tumor cells and not only some of the tumor cells. We exemplify it in this uh, picture here by, by the blue cells that don't carry the CAR target antigen meaning that they will evade CAR-T uh, CAR attack and they will form CAR-T resistant metastasis they are not able to treat. This is a major problem. Problem number two in a solid tumor is that you have a very immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment in solid tumors that makes it difficult for the CAR-T cells to penetrate the tumor, get access to the tumor cells and actually kill them. And the immunosuppressive tumor marker environment also has a way of inhibiting the efficacy of CAR-T cells and making them more exhausted. So these are two challenges that we face and that we think that we can meet with the ITEM platform. And the ITEM platform is based on arming CAR T cell therapies with a bacterial dry protein from Helicobacter pylori. And the idea is that when the CAR T cell comes into contact with the tumor cell, this bacterial dry protein is released. And basically what you get then is like a therapeutic cancer vaccination in combination with your CAR T attack. So the idea is to use this arming technology with iTank to trigger a bystander immune response 
a parallel immune response where you activate the patient's own killer T cells in the body against uh, multiple targets, not only the targets that uh, the CAR T uh, is going after. Also, this inflammation that the, uh, uh, this bacterial dry protein creates is in itself uh, uh, counteracting the immunosuppressive tumor marker environment. It opens up the tumor, it allows the CAR T cells to penetrate the tumor, and it also actually creates less exhaustive uh, CAR T cells, so it, it increases the function of the CAR T cells. And this, of course, uh, uh, we've tested in extensively in preclinical studies, so we have uh, uh, published uh, proof of concept uh, data for the ITENG platform in one of the more prominent scientific journals, uh, Nature Biomedical Engineering, in 2022, where we could show a broad attack on multiple targets. We could show a bystander immune activation and that we could turn a, so to speak, immunologically cold tumor into an immunologically hot tumor, which is exactly what you're after in immune oncology. We can show a more efficient and durable responses for I-tank armed CAR T cells in comparison to conventional unarmed CAR T cells, uh, less exhaustion of the CAR T cells, and also importantly that it doesn't add any toxicity to add the I-tank platform in comparison to, to unarmed CAR T cells. And we also have very clear data uh, from multiple uh, animal models indicating that this can be universally applicable uh, for any CAR-T uh, treatment. And that's why we want to offer it to other CAR-T developers. So the ITEN platform is agnostic with regards to what target the, the CAR-T is going after. It's also agnostic to what other potential arming technologies or other genetic modifications you've done to your CAR-T therapy. You can still uh, easily add the, the ITEN platform. So the, the iTank business model revolves around uh, entering multiple licensing deals with other CAR-T developers and or co-development partnerships with academia and uh, commercial companies active in this field. So far we have uh, three uh, academic collaborations for the iTank platform uh, in different areas uh, uh, in the world and also in different uh, areas of application, which shows you the broad uh, the broad applicability of this uh, technology. So we have a um, collaboration with the Spanish Research Institute that are developing a uh, CAR-T uh, candidate against Ewing sarcoma, which is a difficult to treat solid tumor indication, and they are using the ITEN platform to, to create more efficacious uh, uh, CAR-T candidates. We have a collaboration with a research uh, institute, one of the more prominent ones in the US. They are interested in uh, developing TCR therapies. So it's a little bit different than CAR-T. It's a different area, but you can still add the ITEN platform and the ITEN technology to, to these types of candidates as well. And they are also developing these uh, for solid tumors. And finally, we recently entered a collaboration with a, um, a Chinese uh, university hospital, uh, actually using our, our own oncolytic virus, ELC201, which is armed with the ITEN platform. And they are conducting preclinical studies in multiple solid tumor indications. Uh, which we have identified as relevant and interesting for this specific candidate. Uh, there are several deals I think are worth mentioning to show you the, the level of interest that the industry has in, in this area. And also a benchmark from a Japanese company, which is actually, there are other arming technologies out there, but we have found very few companies that are working with this, and only one company that can claim to uh, uh, to try to tackle these two major challenges, uh, both of them at the same time that I mentioned before that the ITIN platform can do. So this Japanese company has been able to enter multiple partnerships with um, uh, both big pharma companies and uh, large and small biotech companies active in the field of, uh, of uh, uh, CAR-T. Uh, the difference is that their platform uses two immune stimulating substances, while the ITIN platform uses this bacterial derived protein that ultimately creates an inflammation that contains over 20 different uh, immune-stimulating substances. Novartis uh, licensed a, uh, a preclinical solid tumor CAR-T candidate that was armed uh, from Legend Biotech in a deal that gave them 100 million uh, USD upfront. Janssen licensed two uh, CAR-T candidates uh, after initial clinical phase one, two studies. Not at all uh, unsimilar to what we intend to do with 301 in the KARMA study that I will mention shortly. Uh, they received 245 million USDs up front for two, two CD20 directed unarmed uh, CAR-T candidates. 
And finally, I just wanted to mention Arsenal Bio. So that recently, it's a US-based CAR-T company that closed a uh, Series C financing of 325 million USD. Jamal, I'm sorry to, sorry, to okay. inter sorry. Yep. interrupt you, but I think uh, we need to be fair about the, the questions because they are interesting and sometimes uh, critical, and I think it's in your best interest also to answer them. Sure. Please join me here yes. uh, in the middle. Um, CAR T cells have been in the spotlight due to um, related safety concerns. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, we followed it closely, and I think it's uh, it's been shown that these safety concerns are not that uh, important, uh, that they are not as serious as one uh, initially might have thought that it was. So uh, we don't view that as a as a serious concern. What was the backing of that? It's always you know relative. Is it dangerous? Is it not? I mean, CAR T cell therapies in general. Uh, I'm not saying that these are, are these are not safe therapies. So they are uh, they are quite. Uh, they create quite adverse effects. Um, talking about the ITIN platform, as I said, we don't add any adverse effects uh, with the ITIN platform. But of course, the CAR-T comes with certain side effects with it. But that's, uh, that's I would say, the, is in general if you're using CAR-T th therapies. And the reason that you're still using them is that you have such a high potential of actually doing uh, a real big difference for these patients. Uh, as I mentioned, some of them are actually cured. Mm -hmm. um Oncolytic viruses are very difficult to bring into hospitals and surgery rooms, at least the questioner um, claims this, um, where, um, where they are needed to, I mean, it is there where they are needed to reach the tumor. How do you expect to overcome this hurdle? It's a very good question. So one of the, um, the drawbacks of oncolytic viruses is that they are cleared in the body quite, quite fast. So if you inject them systemically, that means that your immune system will quite uh, quickly start to target them and eliminate them. So it is, a, it is difficult to use oncolytic viruses in that sense because you almost always have to use intratumular injection to, to reach the tumor, which, which places some types of you know, challenges that makes it difficult to, to target certain indications. For ELC100, we're actually injecting it systemically, uh, even though uh, it should be injected intratumorally. Uh, but the reason we can do that is because we are targeting patients that have never endocrine tumors with liver metastasis. So we inject it in the liver artery uh, to make it accessible for the liver metastasis specifically. So we think that we can make a difference for this patient group. 201, we still need to inject it intratumorally, so it's a little bit more... Uh, uh, difficult in that sense, but there are, of course, uh, many indications where you can reach the, the tumors in that way. And uh, the indication analysis that I quickly mentioned before, of course, took that into consideration. So we have a list of, of solid tumor indications where we've looked at these types of parameters to make sure that we target the indications that are most relevant for this specific. Yeah, so what you're saying you put a lot of thought into yeah, this yeah, and correct. planning for it going, going forward. Yes. Um, how are you addressing the characterization of the iTank armed final product? The characterization? Mm, yeah, I'm also trying to understand this uh, at the same time as I'm reading. How are you addressing the characterization of the iTank armed final product? Quality control. Quality control. So we are creating the, the production of CAR T cell therapies uh, works in, in two steps, you can say, two major steps. First, you have to create your viral vectors, and then you have to tailor, tailor the specific CAR T uh, therapy for each specific patient based on that patient's own T cells. So we do the, uh, the viral vector production we've already completed. Uh, we, we do that with BioNTech for the CAR T therapies. Uh, we create the viral vectors for the oncolytic viruses with Baylor College of Medicine. And then we have a collaboration with Karolinska Vekura, who, who does the, um, uh, who tailors each specific CAR-T candidate for each specific patient. And of course, we follow all the, the, the guidelines that we need to, to follow to make that as reproducible as possible. And it's, it's easy to do that in the first step. In the second step, you have to, you have to invest some time and money to, to uh, develop, an, uh, like we've done, we've developed an automated production process with, with a closed system to ensure that we, we, reach, we reach the best reproducible quality uh, as possible uh, that we can do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was very interesting to listen to. Jamal Al-Mosley, thank you so much thank for you. coming. Thank you.